All right, all right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hope y'all are still doing well on this beautiful Sunday blessed morning. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Matthew 22 and 14. The Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. It's a lot of people that have been called. But then it's a lot of people that have called themselves. And out of all the many that have been called, I, re I really want to know how many have been chosen. See, it's a difference between calling and then somebody being chosen, which I explained that in the old video. But I wanted to say that because, as you see my title, I am not a bishop. I'm just a simple servant. I'm just a simple servant. And big shout out to my man, Carlos. Carlos Jackson, I believe that's your last name. Big shout out to you. Love your email. No, let me let me clear that up because a lot of people think that on her that I am a bishop and I'm over a church and all of this. No, I'm just a simple old servant. And um, JT is not stuck on titles. And I'm saying this out of love. I'm not stuck on titles. I care less. Now, I am a minister of music, but I'm not caught up in titles. Yes, that's what I do also. And that's what God, that's what God really had me to do was was to really be that minister of music and reaching out. And let me say this off top. Everybody is not supposed to be a pastor, but we all supposed to be preaching. That's why it's a difference between pastoring and preaching. It's a difference when you see the words reverend and minister. See, we got so many titles now that people are confused. That's why I say don't call me nothing but a simple servant. And the reason why I'm saying is because I don't look like your pastor. I don't dress like your pastor. I don't talk like your pastor. And I don't like people putting me in the categories and, and always running up in my face talking about, oh, you supposed to be pastoring. You next, you next. If God has not showed me that, Get out of my face with all of that. This is why we got so many people that's done call themselves to preach. We got a lot of fake people in the pulpit now. People making themselves be in the pulpit. I don't play with God that way. And no disrespect to our nobody, but just feel my heart in this video. I don't play with God. I, I get tired of people telling me just because, oh, you are a minister of music. You're supposed to be a pastor. It don't work like that. This is why I, I try to just get on camera and, and tell the truth. And see, another reason why I don't fit in because I look at what I got on. Look at what I got on. See, when you look in the Bible at people like John the Baptist, what he ate, what he wore, where he spent his time at, and I, thought, I think about that a lot because I think about who who the Lord really uses and how normal they was. They wouldn't, they didn't have to have no fancy degree. They didn't have to have no big time house, no, no, all these cars and all of this stuff. If that's what you got, that's fine also. God never told us having nice things was a problem. He said, when those nice things have us, when you start serving two masters, he never said money was bad. It's, he said it's the love of money that's the root of all evil. I heard people quote that all the time, talking about money is the root of all evil. No, it is not. It's the love of money. It ain't just money. You can have the love of too many women, the love of your drink, the love of your liquor, your, the love of your dope. Whatever you got hindering you, that is your master. Two masters could be anything. So when I speak, I speak real. This is why a lot of preachers don't like me because I speak on what they won't talk about. I guess I keep it a little too real. So to everybody that always that be saying, man, you where your church at? This is my this is the church, not my church. I don't have a church. I'm in the body. I'm a member of the body of Christ. This is God's house. And I'm just tickled to death that he let me just be a part of it. How jacked up I used to be. So I got a new walk, a new talk, and I'm living for the Lord. And no, I'm not a pastor. I'm a simple servant. I serve. Most pre preachers and pastors and evangelists and prophets, most of these people don't know their job is to serve. But a lot of them do not want, they do, they do not want to serve. They want people to serve them. 
They, a lot of them look down on people. I'm the only time I'm looking down. Let me say if my brother Mitty Man was down, the only time I'm gonna look down on him is when I'm looking down and extend my hand out to help him up. I'm not gonna beat him down while he's down. And I just have to say that because we we don't see no love nowadays. We don't see no encouragement nowadays. This is why I'm just a simple servant. JT is not on camera or off camera speaking her and speaking her begging folks for money. I'm not looking for what's in your pocket. I'm looking at right here, your heart, salvation. I'm not worried about a fancy suit. I got suits in the closet that don't never really wear them. I'm not a suit. I'm not even big on suits like I used to be no more. This is why when I get on camera, I put on. It's cool in Dallas right now. It's probably about 40 degrees outside right now. I put on what I feel, and most people won't listen to me because where your degree at? Well. My degree is with the Holy Ghost. I was ordained by God, not man. See, my question to people is, how many times do you have to be ordained? See, John the Baptist was ordained by God. He was the forerunner for Christ. So he didn't need no degree. It didn't matter what he wore because if you look at what John the Baptist had on, you would thought you would be like, man, this dude must be poor. Why would God choose somebody like him to speak the word? And before I close, I'm reminded of Proverbs. There was a time when this, this, this old poor man was able to save a whole town. And nobody remembered that man. Why? Because he wasn't a big time person. He wasn't dressed this way. He didn't look like this. He didn't have no degrees. He was this, he was that. That's what people do. They look over the, the people that they think this just ain't no good. That man was able to help the whole city. And nobody recognized him. See, if you don't meet me and forget me, you haven't lost the thing. But if you don't come into the knowledge of God and get Christ in your life, you done lost it all. So I'm just a servant. That's why when you see me on YouTube, I'm serving. I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak this word. I'm going to encourage. I'm going to love. I'm not on here to hate. I let the haters hate. I got many haters that come up against me on a daily basis. But, but I always go back to the word of God because what did Jesus say? Keep in mind, if the world hates you, remember they hated me first. So if they hated Christ, everybody else that's hating on me, you might as well jump in the long line with everybody else. I got a line that'll reach from her all the way to Mitty Man's house. So y'all can just jump on board. God bless you and God keep you. I'm not a bishop. I'm just a simple servant who talk different than everybody else, who dress different and look different and don't beg folks for money. I'm just different. I'm not trying to show out. I'm not looking for people to, 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 um, to, to glorify me. I'm like Paul. I'm making myself like a slave in so many ways to reach more for the kingdom. Not for me to get no glory, but for all the glory to go to God. I don't want to be like King Herod and trying to get the glory and I fall down and drop dead and the worms eat my body. I'd rather let the Lord get the glory. So with that being said, much love and respect to all of y'all. Y'all have a beautiful, blessed Sunday. Don't eat too much. Peace.